guys and welcome back to Enigma 77 Review. So I'm going to be continuing the Iron... Do you see what I mean? I've been doing Iron Fist for that long. I've got Iron Fist in my head. <laughs> Killstar! 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 So I'm going to do the last pair of Killstar shoes which I have seemed to have accumulated while I've been poorly and I ain't going to complain but these bad boys I'm going to show you next are... Um, yeah, they're going to be very hard to walk around in, especially with my condition as such. So it's light, it's cold, it's dark. This is the last video of the night and then I'm wrapping this baby up. Now, I will do a video at the end, so be sure to stay to the end, even when I've said goodbye to you, because the video will come on of me um, breaking my neck. I may have to have my walking stick at side of me. <laughs> I'm sorry about that, but these are... These are bad boys. So, I seen these and I did want them. I didn't actually think about the whole height kind of thing and the uncomfortable fact that I might not be able to walk at all in them. I just wanted them. If I see a pair of shoes and I want them, despite what they look like, I just want them and, and I can't get them out of my head. So, I have done a kill star order today with my Christmas money. I did say I was gonna wait until Black Friday, but there's actually a sale on at the minute. And I was really scared if I didn't get this bag, it'd be gone. So I have done a Killstar Christmas order, um, which is my Christmas present. And I spent it quite wisely. I got quite a lot for what little bit of money I actually had. Uh, I do have money off my mum to come for Christmas. I think I will save that for Black Friday, if I have it by then. You know, I'm assuming that my mum gives me the money then and not like 10 days or four days before Christmas. We'll see. So this is the box, big ass box. It says, we are the weirdos, mister. I think it says that on every box. So this is bigger than the usual size box that I've been getting. I don't know why they've come in such a big box. Might have the, something to do with the fact that they are humongous. So again, you've got the micro pack, which is to keep your shoes fresh. Every one of them has been different. I did like the ones with sold out. I think there was a lot prettier. So I have tried these on when I tried my um, Venom, Venom leggings and top. And you will have got to see what they look like with a full outfit. But I'm not gonna be messing about with full outfit for this try on. You're just gonna see my feet and nothing more. And I'm getting too thick guys. It's, I don't know what it is. I think it's the coldest in this room. So these are the Crucifreak Mule, and these are a size seven. So I went for a seven, or I didn't go for a seven. Yeah, I didn't go for a seven. I went for a seven. I was gonna go for an eight, and I thought, no, I'll just get size seven. Now, as you can see, these are a beast. They're massive, absolutely humongous. Now guys, I have got pleaser shoes. I have got like stripper, dancey shoes. I have got big ass boots that are like this. And at one time, I would happily walk in these, like confidently and not be worried. But as I've got older and as my back's got worse, oh, I'm so limited to what I can wear. I'm comfortable in my sold out shoes. I don't really wear heels anymore. I don't really go out enough to wear these kind of shoes, but I wanted them. And they were 29 99 30 pound. Now I'd pay 30 pound if I bought a pair of shoes from New Look or River Island or Iron Fist, I pay a little bit more for Iron Fist and my Demonius, I pay a little bit more for. And I've had, actually had like my Tuck, I paid a lot more for them and so forth. You get the gist of what kind of shoes I do like and buy. But I had to have these as, as part of my monstrous kind of design shoes, which will go on my unit. So what attracted me to these wasn't the fact that they're monster shoes. This attracted me to it, the whole pentagram on the side because as you know I bought the Venom leggings and the top and I just thought these would go together in harmony and you have seen me try all three on together but the show for these will just be based around the shoes and how how elegantly I do not walk in them. Um, I do like peep toe shoes if you haven't guessed that where have you been? I love peep toe shoes I live for peep toe shoes and uh, most of my going out shoes I peep toe shoes, you get the gist. The only thing I don't really like about th these shoes is this whole, 
you know, you've watched my Iron Fist shoe reviews where they've got stitching in the middle. I, I just, I know it's there for a reason. I just don't really appreciate this whole stitching bit down. I'd have preferred it to be just a smooth shoe going over, the whole leather going across. But unfortunately, it's not like that. But for £30, what the bloody hell do you want? Do you know what I mean? You've got monster shoes. You've got a, a pentagram on the pentagon. Pentagon? Pentagram? Pentagram? Oh. Hey, you know what I'm on about. And I do like the fact that they crisscross here as well. I do like this. They actually do look like a proper mule. If you look at it like that, they just look like a random mule. But then when you turn to the side, you've just got this monstrous. Now, I don't know information about this like you would get on your Iron Fist, where you you Google up your Iron Fist and they tell you everything about it. I'm not too sure what they say about this. I haven't got my phone to hand. But I do know, looking at this... <laughs> This is quite a massive platform. I reckon about five to six centimetres high in platform. And the shoes probably about 15, 16 centimetres high. Take account, when your platform is cut off, I always do this because I try and try and visualise it. So guys, if you were to take your platform away, that would be your average size shoe. Do you get me? Now, I... Be happily to, to walk around in them quite easily. And I have got shoes like that, like a mules that I walk around with. I've got like my leopard print ones, which I need to go and look for them in the van because they're not in my cupboard and I'm wondering where they are. But obviously, they're just bigger. The only problem with these, if you were to crockle in these, they're gonna goddamn hurt, like really hurt. But I check my shoes and I've been checking these out and I can't see anything, um, pleasantly wrong with them what I see is like I'm happy with the insoles are quite squishy quite comfortable and the instep <coughs> it is a little bit drastic just a little bit but the fact that they have this support around the top of the foot gives you that little bit more security if that makes sense if these were just like an open slip-on shoes Damn, I wouldn't wear them. There's no way I'd even try them on because if it was just a slip-on shoe without this security around your ankles, I think that that is just asking for a broken ankle. I have seen people crockle in shoes like this and it looked very painful. I've had fractured ankle before and I wouldn't like another one. The bottom of the sole is quite rigid. Um, <coughs> I'm not too sure how that would fare on a slippy kind of surface. Because I wouldn't call them the best grips in the world, even though they look like it. I'd find them really slippy. Um, and then the same with the, the heels, quite slippy surface, flat surface. But for your first pair of Monster Killstar shoes for 30 quid, I'm not going to complain. So guys, nothing bad so far that I can say about them. I've tried them on. They are comfortable. I can actually walk in them, funny enough. I don't know how long I'd be able to wear them without starting to get in sufficient kind of hell pain. But I think I'll survive to try them on at the end and see. I just wish that I could go back to the days that I used to go out wearing shoes like this. I mean, where I go here, my local is called like the Gifford. And it's um, it is actually a pub, not a club, but it stays open till early hours. And a lot of the bands that I go to see play live there. And <coughs> they have a downstairs, which is like your classic kind of rock and your metal. And then you've got upstairs, which is generally like goth, um, alternative, industrial. And I do like both upstairs and downstairs. I tend to gravitate to upstairs more than I do downstairs. I don't know why that is. The only time I used to go downstairs is if I was going outside for a sneaky fag. Um, because it's it's kind of the atmosphere is amazing there. And then we have got a club called The Planet, which is very open. <laughs> um, I've only been there a handful of times. I do like it, but I do prefer the Gifford more than anything. And these are the kind of shoes you'd want to wear to them. But because of my disability now, I just don't think I could. Now, I've been, before I wrap this up, I've been, <laughs> I've been watching... Um, actually series one and series two, season one, season two of a certain program. Could have been trying to find some inspiration to being a monster. Now, I am um, straight, I am married. I'm not like a drag queen or anything, but 
God damn, I've been watching this Dracula, guys. And it is um, the, is it the Boulet brothers? Which are husband and wife, technically. And they are absolutely stunning. They're amazing. Their makeup, their, their clothes, their presence, their shoes, the way, oh, everything about them is amazing. It's not everybody's cup of tea, but it's called Dracula. If you ever want to go and check it out, if you want some really kind of graphic makeup ideas for the horror, <coughs> it is all based on like, um, filth, horror, um, glamour, drag. It's everything mixed in and you get a little bit of the drag drama as well in between, which I just find hilarious. And you kind of fall in love with the characters in there. I've just finished season two and I absolutely loved it. And I'm, I think I loved season two better than season one. And I'm going to start season three tonight. But I, it's, it's actually inspired me to do my Christmas collab <coughs> and deliver. I know I did my Corpse Bride. I don't, I don't think I did what I wanted to achieve so much as horror on there. Um, but this time I am. So um, look out for the Christmas collab, which will be on Batborn's page. Um, I'm excited about it, but I'm not going to say too much about it because I ain't going to give the game away. All right, guys, stay to the end. I'll try these on, see what you think, and um, pop your comments on below. And I'll see you guys very, very soon. I'm getting the hell out of here because I am freezing my ass off. All right, guys, take care of yourself. See you on the next one. Bye. <laughs>